There's a pretty one, Ulysses. Hello, I'm Tron the Book Maniac. This is my first video made in my new apartment, and this is going to be quick and dirty. This is Booktube Spin number seven. Rick Mapdanell, as I think most of you already know, is going on a hiatus for personal reasons. We will miss him, and he has kindly launched a quick and dirty version of the Booktube Spin, Booktube Spin number seven, where he's got the announcement and the, the result of the draw in the same video. So you got to stop the video and then get your TBR list or whatever, and then go back and listen to the end. So that's what I've done. I haven't listened to what the numbers are, and I'm now gonna take you inside and show you the 20 books that I have prepared for this list. All right, so this shelf, you can't really see. There's the bottom three are still empty, but this is the first few boxes of books that have come in that I mailed to myself from Tokyo to my parents' house in Saskatchewan. I started mailing them in March, Finally, last week, the first 10 boxes arrived, and I've put them on this shelf. I have picked out 20 of the ones I have not yet read. They are on the top shelf, and these are my booktube spin books for booktube spin number seven. I'm going to show them to you very briefly to keep this quick and dirty. It seems to be the phrase of the day for me. This is an anthology. I don't know anything about it. It's called Little Bird Stories, edited by Sherry Dimeline, an Indigenous writer who is, however problematically uh, situated in Canada. Book number one. Book number two is a short story collection by a Nigerian Irish writer, This Hostile Life, by Melatu Uchu Okori. Tess of the D'Urbervilles, number three. Number four, the story of Lucy Galt by William Trevor. Uh, Bob the Booker put this on my radar. Love to get to this one as soon as possible. Well, I guess I got quite a bit of Irish stuff here. Anna Byrne's debut novel, No Bones. I loved her Booker Prize winning novel, one of the best books I've ever read. Now that the title's gone out of my head, this is her debut. Speaking of debuts, this is an Irish debut novel by Kevin Doherty, Penny Baps. Number seven is, I think it's another Irish writer, Betty Smith, a World War I novel published in 1945, On the Side of the Angels. She was Jonathan Miller's mother. A novel from maybe 1933, certainly the 30s. Novel on Yellow Paper by Stevie Smith, a British novelist and poet. This was a very influential book and a favorite book of my favorite writer, Barbara Pimms. This is the winner of the inaugural Booker Prize back in 68, wasn't it? P.H. Newby's Something to Answer For. That was number nine and number 10 is Labrador by Catherine Davis. Uh, an American novel. Everybody and their dog were reading this and talking about it on booktube recently, uh, a year or two ago. An Inventory of Losses by Judah Shalansky, translated from the German by Jackie Smith. A South African writer, I believe this is a novel. Alex Laguma's In the Fog of the Season's End. Kent Harris novel, Our Souls at Night. This would be a reread for me. This is the British gay novel from the late 90s. Neil Bartlett's ready to catch him should he fall. This is book number 15, If You Kept a Record of Sins by Andrea Bajani, translated by Elizabeth Harris. This is number 16, a Welsh novel, 20,000 Saints by Fleur Daffod. A collection of short stories by the Maltese Canadian writer who I knew somewhat many years ago. White Lies and Other Fictions, plus two by Sean Virgo. Number 18, now this is a fascinating sounding wartime diary by a woman that um, never wrote anything but this diary, as far as I understand it. A free-spirited woman, The London Diaries of Gladys Langford. This is a trans-themed Nigerian novel. I believe it's a debut as well. An Ordinary Wonder by Buki Papillon. And finally, Unreconciled, a fairly new non-fiction book, uh, indigenous-themed political non-fiction book from Canada. Unreconciled Family, Truth, and Indigenous Resistance by Jesse Went or Wenty. Now I'm gonna go play the rest of Rick's video, find out what numbers he has drawn. And the number is 12, nine. Just got over the line at nine. Okay, that's your first book. You're welcome, slash I'm sorry, whatever works for you. Let's do spin number two. 
that one is going to be number 16. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. It's the uh, inaugural winner of the Booker Prize. Something to Answer For by P.H. Newby. And 16. 16. Oh, and this is the Welsh novel published in about 2008 or something like that. 20,000 Saints by Fleur Daffet. Not a very well-known novel. I can't remember where I got it, but it has fairly good reviews on Goodreads, I believe. And now... My uh, debuton continues into the summer. It's going to be quite a UK-centered booktube spin for me. That's it. Thanks for watching.